Welcome back guys to Factorio Invasion of Planet Earth. This is episode 20. If you're new here, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe, leave me a comment, ring the bell so you know when the next episode comes out, we are bringing you the most exciting and the most different Factorio playthroughs on YouTube. Uh, we are doing completely unique playthroughs where it's not just Factorio, but we've got a theme going on. We've got something unique and different. So check us out in this playthrough. The Earth, planet Earth has been invaded by biters and we are freeing planet Earth of this invasion. There are still some up there in Greenland that we have to work on. Uh, last episode, we wiped out the invaders in Cuba and uh, this episode we're building a uh, military force so that we can move on to take over the rest of the world recapture it from the biters we are the lone survivor of the invasion and we're here by ourselves to do this work so now that you know what's happening i appreciate you being here and let's get on with the episode first of all we have to get back we're, i'm just loving this hovercraft i have to say this thing is awesome i love just doing like power slides just like you take off take off the forward motion and it just kind of power slides around it's pretty awesome uh but yeah we are working on getting let's see do i have some stuff i do i think i stopped at the base and picked up some more stuff i have to get out of the hovercraft though because i don't want to crap oh boy it's really going to keep going for a while maybe i'll jump back in and just stop it from floating around all right so anyway we have we do have to finish the smelting array here are we close? I think we are. Uh, yeah, we just need um, inserters is our thing here. So let's, I guess we'll have to do some manual inserter placing, which I don't want to do necessarily, but, and we'll go ahead and do it just to get it going. Let's see. Actually, th these over here look like they need it more. Get these in, uh, all these in so that we can start we have to build well our options are well our, our main base back there in North America is where most of the thing is being built most of the things are being built um, but we might as well have a few things being made down here so that we don't have to run all the way back up to North America every time we need to resupply so um, that being said, the first thing we want is probably, wait a minute, what's going on here? Oh, that's steel. Okay, so that means what? That means the coal, oh, coal, 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 ah, ah, ha, 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 yep, okay. All right, that, that goes like that, and this goes like this. And then this goes like that. Okay, and that. Okay, all right. Mistakes have been made. So that means we have to clear this. And then we have to clear a lot of this coal. Oh, oh this is going to be an issue. But we can dump the coal into these furnaces. Don't know what I did there. Dump the coal into the furnaces. And then we have to clear, clear these lanes. Oh, dump the coal again. Okay, I keep hitting the wrong button here. There we go. If I can hit the right button, I can make it happen. It's F to clear the lane, and then Control click to dump stuff like that. Okay, then we have to clear this lane over here the same way. And that will get our steel going. And then let's just get rid of all this iron that we have. Okay. All right. So that takes care of that. And that gets steel. All right. So now we have two lanes of iron. And let's set up a little bit of a bus style build here for South America and I think we have two lanes of copper yes we do so we'll set that up and 
And the first thing we probably need is to get some green circuits. <clears throat> Down here. Um, because we're going to do uh, yellow science and purple science here. So we definitely will need circuits. We're going to need green circuits and the red circuits. Um... We have oil down here too, so we'll probably do, I guess we're going to have to do everything down here and we'll export our sciences. That's, uh, we won't import anything except for the copper, which we're importing here, in case you didn't know. We're bringing it in by shipload. Um, so that's the only thing that we have to import so far. So we'll have to go ahead and get some green circuits going here but in the meantime I think it's gonna be in our best interest first of all to unload some of this stuff here in a chest that we don't need we don't need um, a lot of this stuff in the immediate so we might as well empty our pockets of the things we don't need in the immediate engines um, belts we do need we don't need that ship loading pump let's put that though up there by the ship or no wait a minute we can put it in our hovercraft that way we'll have it when we go to do that stuff that makes more sense actually it'd be, make more sense to put all this stuff into the hovercraft so that we have it when we need it well at least the building materials we don't necessarily need rocks and sticks in our hovercraft so we'll leave that over here and let's get rid of that okay so uh, let's go ahead and build a few things here uh, let's get our tech going first keep our tech going well mines I don't think we're gonna use very much we can we don't have to worry about worker robot well we'll take worker robot speed why not and we'll get we'll just take train breaking I'm not worried about Yes, robotics we want. Train bridges, I don't know about. We'll deal with that. If we need it, we'll get it. It's not that expensive. It won't take but a second. Um, uranium processing is a low priority, although it might be handy for nuclear weapons. Um, how much is it? It's only 200. Okay, we'll take it for 200. Alex. And logistic robots, yes, please. Let's get mining productivity first. Okay, so that's our science for this um, this episode, probably. Okay, so uh, let's get some green circuits going, and we'll put them on right. Let's let's go ahead and start it right here. Where did I do? Okay, here we go. Green circuits will go right here. And as much as I would like to um, do something new and different and unique with green circuits. Um, I just, uh, oh, I don't have any inserters. Okay. Well, that means we have to craft a bunch of inserters. I guess I should do inserters first. Well, I need green circuits to do inserters. So we'll kind of build our own little supply house here. Well, there goes all the inserters. Yeah, it's, it's a multi-stage operation. The things that have to be done here, so... Uh, but anyway, as much as I would like to build a completely unique green circuit build, um, you know, something that you've never seen before, uh, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not that smart, guys. I'm just not. That's the truth of the matter. I kind of just go with the tried and true. If it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what, that's what I was taught. And I'm a firm believer in that general philosophy you know, if things been working for I mean it's fine to find a better way and if you can find a better way as they say the world will beat a path to your door however if you're just doing something different just to be different then uh, you're serving no purpose so let's Let's get all of this 
Am I feeding everything? I want to make sure I get every one of these. There we go. Okay, properly. And let's do the wires here. Wires. And paste all that in. And then do the green circuits here. And paste all that in there. And then we need these. Oh, that's an extra one. Okay. And then we'll output. We have plenty of those. And then we just need power poles, which we have plenty of. Actually, that one could go right there. Let's make sure we cover the maximum distance on that. And then these will be that, oh, that one, that one, and that one. Fine. There we go. And then hook it up to the main power which is right there right there okay and then inserters we need more inserters which means we need more iron and we'll need plenty of green circuits okay and then we'll just take that whole thing how do I not have power there? I missed one. Okay, we'll take this whole thing. We'll copy it. We'll flip it. We'll rotate it and we'll place it right there. Like that. Now this is the, now this is, okay. I said I don't have the brain power to create something completely unique and different. It's not completely unique and different, but it is a little bit unique and different in that I just turn that iron around like that and it actually is able to feed both sides and then I can actually just take this copper and turn it around and go back this way with it. And yes, I did build on top of the uranium mine, but that's okay. We're not going to use uranium yet for a while. And even if we do, I think we have more available to us well maybe not not in the americas anyway okay so that may become an issue later but that's for later that's for later massive right now current massive is saying we're okay in the in the immediate right now we're okay so we're not going to worry about it all right so let's do a copy bring all these down here okay and that gets us that stuff and then uh like i say we do need a few items for personal use which i guess we'll take um i guess we'll take and build on this side of the of the main line here and build um all right well you know what? I'm gonna... Okay. I have to wait for the bots. I am gonna go back to the main base and grab the stuff that I need. Instead of having two... Two manufacturing hubs, which makes no sense. I'm just gonna go back and grab the stuff I need. From the main base. Since we have the uh, hovercraft, it doesn't take that long anyway, and the beauty of it is we can slam through trees, we can hover over water, so we can take a very direct route, smash through the trees, no problem, go straight over the water, as long as we have fuel, that's the main thing, which I know we do have plenty of, 450 fuel, so we're in good shape, and then we can just go straight over here. Watch the mini map for my routing. And we can land at Plymouth Rock. Just like old Chrissy Columbus did. And here we are. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love that. <laughs> Power sliding stuff is cool. All right, so then we come over here. This isn't so bad with the hovercraft. Jump out and grab 
I guess that being the case that we have to travel, we might as well increase the number of things that we're building over here. Let's go with six stacks for now. Okay, so let's grab these. Yes, 50 of those is good. I think we're good on pipes and things. Uh, um, although, we do have to build... Um, well, let's grab pipes and things. We do have to build a... a um, uh, what is the word? Cannot... Cannot English. Um... Uh, would you believe English is my first language? I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. Okay, these we have plenty of. Um, we don't need those right now. Mining machines we're good on. We'll grab some inserters. Yes, please. We will take all the belts and the undergrounds. And we're good on those other things. Um, what is the word... Um, that I am trying to say that I, oh, okay, I need more of those, but now I have no room in my inventory. I need these things right here. These, I can't see what they are. Words, words, speak to me. Um, I need my words. Um... Oil refineries, that's what I'm looking for. Oil refineries is what I need. I have to build oil refineries down there in South America. Thank you for coming to me. Words? Okay. Um, I do have to build those because I'll need plastic down there for the circuits that we need. So let me build a couple of radars. And let's see if there's anything. Ah, rockets. But we don't need rockets in the immediate. We'll build them probably in South America. Um, oh, train bridges, which, ah, maybe train bridges is something we might look into, uh, for our bullet train at some point. Let me think. All right, let's put this radar down and then we'll head back to South America. Uh, wait a minute, where am I going? Wrong way. Looks like right here is where I need my radar. Okay, that now most of, most 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 of America is lit up, and we can light up the rest later. All right, so let's go back to South America and continue with our building project. And we can take the Baja coast down and cross Ecuador. And uh, Guatemala, South America, or Central America, Panama, and here we are in South America. Crash through the trees like a boss. And let's see, let's check our... Go ahead and place another radar. Let's put one down here. Right there should be good. And where else do we need radars? I think we're okay on radars now. Yeah, we are. Okay, so back to work we go. Come on, robots, you'll catch me. I'm staying on dry land, so you'll be all right. Just cruise through here and park it right there. All right. Is that water there? Yes. Okay, so... Um, so the next item that we're going to need, after we place all of these inserters, let's check, let's check if we got all the inserters placed up here before we go too far. No, it looks like a few of them are still missing. We got most of them. There's a few right there that we need. We'll go ahead and place those. And that will finish this project. Oh, there's some more over here. Okay. 
just a lot of inserters to be we're gonna have to make more we'll just I guess we're just gonna continue to handcraft fast inserters for a while till we get that thing finished so let's grab a ton of iron and a ton of circuits and just keep crafting fast inserters constantly okay so the next thing that we need I guess would be um, if we're working toward purple science we need railroad track which means we need stone do we have stone here no so we okay looks like we will be importing stone from North America okay so that's something we can work on we have that patch there which is not really much so I guess we'll have to work on a Western what else do we have up here that we need I guess we'll have to work on a West Coast ship line that would bring stone down here um, okay let's examine again so we'll need stone for all of that stuff except for the prod modules which would mean red circuits and for red circuits and then there's blue circuits and then there yeah so we are going to need oil products i guess we'll go ahead and get oil products because we can start that uh, except i forgot i said it took me all that time to think of the word and then i didn't make any of the machines that we need all right so that's the case of course let's go down here we'll set up the infrastructure part of it first since we're here um which won't take much i get let's see i do have grenades let's blow up some trees okay and then okay then we'll have to craft those which okay yep nothing is ever easy in life or in factorio let this be a lesson to you guys let this be a lesson to you nothing is ever easy or straightforward or honestly nothing's ever what it seems to be or what you think it's going to be it's always something different than you expect it to be that is a fact of life if you don't know that by now, then believe Massive when he says it. You will find it to be true eventually. Alright, so. There are very few things in life that exceed your expectations. Okay, so we are here. Uh, all right let's see it looks like there's two more right over there and that is the end of that okay that gets is there another one looks like there's one more yep okay that should finish that I think very good Okay, so then we will... I don't know why we're handcrafting all that stuff. There's no reason for that. Okay. I ran out of circuits, that's why. So let's grab some more circuits. And I think I grabbed a ton of pipes. I did, so that means we can make these things that we need. Let's see, how many? Uh, wow. I should have counted them when I was down there. I can't tell how many are down there in that view. I guess we'll run back down there and check. Let's take the power poles with us, though. We'll run them, say, right here. This will be fine. Let's see how we do with the old hovercraft power pole dragger. Not bad, not bad. I'm liking it. Okay, here we are. Oops. Did that connect? Can't tell if that connected or not. We'll throw one right there. 
All right, there are a bunch of those. That's why I couldn't count them. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 of them, it looks like. We'll build 20 because it's just as easy. Okay, so that being the case, we'll also grab a couple of a tank or two. And we can't build those because we don't have any of the... I don't have any stone left. It's up there in a the chest. I might be able to smelt enough stone to build some um, some things that I need. And let's see. We do need a tank. Throw a tank down right there. So we'll connect everything to that tank. Uh, what else do we need? Don't need those anymore. And I guess we'll just wait for these to craft. Here we go. Wow, this is dense. Okay, so this is going to take some skills to place these things because it's so dense. All right. Have to be creative with our placement here. Actually, that one is not going to be able to get out at all. Oh, maybe? No, it's not. Interesting. Okay. Very dense. Don't think I've ever had this issue before where they're so dense that you can't get them out. But we'll work with it. Let's see, how much is that one? That puddle is 1166. Okay, that's a big puddle, so we'll take that puddle. Since we have the option, we'll. S okay, I guess we'll skip. We'll take that puddle too, and we'll skip that puddle. Okay, this one we can <clears throat> rotate that way. Okay, so now it's just a matter of hooking these all up, and since it's like this, we might as well just drag pipes, because it's not like we have to uh, worry about crashing into them or anything. We'll just do it like that. Okay, that gets all that. And then... There's autosave. Thanks, autosave. We'll take this one over here. Like that. And then... Good enough. Okay, and then we'll just take our pipes and hook that up like that. And then it's just a matter of putting power poles in there. Getting everything powered up, which shouldn't be no problem. Or... Oh, I didn't get those two. Miss those two. We'll get those like that. Can I get that? Nope, not yet. So, a little power pole action. I think that gets everything powered. Okay, then we'll jump back in our hovercraft. And we'll head back up north to hook up the power. And that probably will be the end of the episode, guys. Looks like we've hit our 30 minute mark for the episode so we will I'm just going to throw these power poles in here as we say goodbye and we will see you guys next time i'd like to thank you for watching very much for watching if you're here for this for the entire program that is fantastic i really do appreciate it please leave me a like and a comment and we will see you guys in the next episode bye bye